Welcome to To Enable Help. In this video I'm going to demonstrate how to set up a free form and a practical assessment. When you log in, one of the things to note um, is if you're a mentor, um, and mentors actually mentor specific subjects, so if you've set that up correctly, it will load up a link here, questions to mark. So if you select the questions to mark, it'll tell you how many practical assessments you have to mark as a mentor, and how many free form questions you need to mark as a mentor. Now, uh, I'm actually in the space of marking uh, practical assessments on Recorder. So if I open up this link, it loads up all the users in our organization that need to do a, a Recorder session. And if I select one of the users, here it opens up the rubric for me to mark. Okay, so this person needs to play hot cross buns and we're obviously assessing them how they hold and the hold the instrument, fingering, tongue, note recognition, rhythm, interpretation, improvisation. And for each of those, we have got uh, a set of options which we can mark them by. So how they hold the instrument, they consistently hold them correctly through to they automatically use the left hand on top, which is the way they're supposed to do it. And as a, as a uh, somebody who's assessing a practical, I just merely select the correct option that applies to the person that I am assessing. Now, if this was an essay, it would be exactly the same thing, except in this half of the screen, there would be the user's answer, and I would be assessing this answer using the rubric which would apply in the right-hand half of the screen. But the t important thing is, is that we have created a rubric which we are using to either assess a practical assessment or we are using to assess a, an essay, a free form answer. And this is completely customizable. So, uh, for instance, um, note recognition could in fact have six different options and rhythm, which could be the next uh, measurement, could, might only have two options. Uh, in this case, we've got uh, the, each, op each of these uh, topics that we are assessing have, have four sub-options. But there's no reason that they have to all have four sub-options. They could have uh, as many or as few as, as you who are setting up the rubric uh, would like them to have. Now I'm going to take you to uh, this question where the rubric is in fact set up and it's obviously in the recorder section and I'll, I've shown you how to edit an existing uh, an existing questionnaire and this is precisely what we're going to be doing and in this questionnaire you can see here we have two true or false questions loaded one practical assessment 18 multiple choice and we're delivering nine of the 18 and one of the two multiple true or false and we're delivering the one practical so there is only one practical assessment and that is what we're delivering and you can see here this is the practical assessment and these are all the multiple choices so when a user does this test, they're going to be presented with 11 questions and actually nine of them they're going to have to answer and one of them is going to tell them that you are going to be contacted by a mentor to complete this practical. So if I go into this practical, which we've already done, and I decide to edit it, okay, so you can see how, it's been, how we are setting it up. I've already shown you how it presents itself to a... Um, how it presents itself to a user, um, or rather a, a mentor. So here we've got the name of the practical, we've got uh, the fact that it is a practical, here is the question, and you'll recall this appeared at the, at the top of the screen, and then here's hold instrument, okay, it's been marked out of six, and there are four options, and each one of these options has a mark, so that is if, if if the mentor selects this as the correct option, automatically uses the left hand, which is correct, they will get six out of six for that topic. And the next topic, which is fingering, they've got a similar thing, and, and in this case, each one of these things, uh, those all have, are marked out of six, and these are in fact marked out of eight. Okay. And we can go through and you can see, well, if they pick that one, which is not really that great, they'll get one out of eight, whereas if they uh, they played with great sensitivity, they'll get 8 out of 8. So that is how it manifests itself. Now, the other thing that is important to understand is, is these are merely weightings. Okay? So if we, were add up, if we were to add up all these values, uh, that's 48 marks, I think. It's not the value of the question. So if you think, if you go back to the value of the question, if I go back to the question, if I hit close, the question is only marked out of 10. Okay, so 
what's important to understand is is in this space in where you set the questionnaire up is these are weightings within within this question and we can what this allows us to do is we can use the same question in multiple questionnaires so for somebody who's at the beginner level the mark value might be out of a higher value it could be 20 marks but somebody who's more advanced we could reduce it to 10 and in the question itself those are merely weightings so what i'm going to do is just remind you that this is called when the saints recorder and um, i'm going to select a different questionnaire in fact um, we will we will find a, a a different questionnaire and I'm going to duplicate that rubric okay and what I'm trying to simulate now is the fact that um, I'm going to go back to our English and we're going to go back to our English step 1 grade 10 and I'm going to show you how to import uh, that existing rubric which we've had which we created into here okay so we're going to obviously edit this questionnaire i'm going to duplicate that question because i like the rubric from when the saints okay when the saints and i hope i got it correct and there's when the saints re practical recorder session and it's now sucking that rubric there's the rubric into this assessment and because this is my english assessment i'm going to call it english grade 10 and uh, i can then type a practical assessment so you're going to be assessed on the following so if this was a free form question it would suck obviously it through as a free form question and the same rules apply to a practical and a free form and if i then save and and um, save this which i don't really want to do what it will do is it will save this question which is an, which is a copy of of the, the saints question rubric but it's got obviously now a different question name and, and it's got a different question into this questionnaire and this now becomes a question called whatever we've given it a name and we can use this question in other questionnaires okay so so just taking a step back this duplicate question all it does is it sucks in a rubric from an existing question with a rubric into a new question that you want to use in this questionnaire uh, and i hope i'm not being too confusing about about what i'm saying the next thing is obviously if you want to create a new questionnaire from scratch and, and you don't want to select what, do what I've just done, but what you do want to do is, is click on the new question button and you give the questionnaire a name and we then choose whether we want a free form or practical assessment and here we then type, it could be please write an essay, a 150 word essay on whatever you'd like them to write it on. And then these are going to be obviously the metrics that we are using to assess the lie. So this, for instance, could be out of three. And if they pick this one, they're going to get zero. And if they pick this one, they're going to get one. And you can make this as detailed as you want. Excuse me, two. Tab three. And then I can select the next item and I can make this one out of 12 and we can repeat the process continue through, through it so you can see here we've obviously given if, they, if, if the person who assesses them selects this option they'll give them one out of three if they select that option it'll be two out of three and then this is the process by which we create a completely new rubric and once we, we save this question, if I were to save and close it, I could then again, as I've demonstrated earlier, use duplicate this question. And, and what that means is I would be duplicating this rubric and using it in a, in a separate, in a new questionnaire. So I'm hoping that process that I've just demonstrated, uh, which leads to the development of a rubric which a, a mentor will use to mark either a free-form question or a practical assessment is, is clear enough for you to uh, go ahead and, and create your own assessments uh, from now on. Thank you.